Welcome back to another video. I'm going to be opening 33 Ravnica Allegiance Booster Packs. And I wanted to share this video with you guys. Uh, hopefully we get some good cards. Looking to uh, get some uh, nasty Gruul cards. So I really want to build a deck around uh, Gruul for some reason. But uh, yeah, let's... Uh, Go to the store, and let's get our boosters. Let's get our booster packs. So I've been saving up since I, a little bit over Christmas, after Christmas. Um, so I had a total of 30,000. I, I did today's daily just to get myself over 30. Um, so let's see how it goes. Plus, you know, you get the, uh, the three free booster packs by inputting the, uh, redeem code, uh, play allegiance, if I'm not wrong. Um, so that's three there. All right. So here we go. Let's do this. 33. I don't like opening them all 10 like that. I don't know. I just prefer doing it one by one. I think that's a little bit more fun. Uh, all right, here we go. Let's start. See what we got. Deals one damage to any target. It's pretty good. I like that. I think that's a little bit better than the uh, the goblin. At least it dies. Just the only thing that the that the goblin has over it's it's the haste. So you can do it right away. So a lot of people are going to be hesitant. Draw a card. Put a land card from your hand to the battlefield. That's pretty good. Especially being an instance. Exile target creature card from a graveyard. If you do gain two life. Life link three one. Draw four cards and discard two. Ah, look at that. Gain two life, draw a card, discard a card. Gate Colossus. That's with the gates, I think. You put gate colossus from your graveyard on top of your library. For each gate you control. Alright, first rare. Oh, look at that! Wow. Wow, what luck. Thank you. Thank you. I like that. Being the very first booster. <laughs> that was awesome. Destroy target land and scry. Holy. 3-2. Spectacle. Return out to two target creature cards from your graveyard to your hand. That's pretty good. Rakdos. Plus 2 plus 0. Boom. Wild card. Death touch and afterlife. Nice. Afterlife, when this creature dies, create a 1-1 one, one white and black spirit creature token with flying. It's pretty good. Gateway sneak. Can't be blocked this turn. Deals combat damage to a player, draw a card. Mass manipulation. Gain control of X target creatures and or planeswalkers. Holy moly. Alright. Nice. Frenzied. That is uh, four colors, one red, one green, plus three, plus zero. Riot and trample. Defender. Tap an untapped creature you control. Add one mana of any color. Menace. Chant creature. Can't attack or block. It's activated abilities. Can't be activated. That's, that's pretty good. And flash. Oh, wow. That is insane. Uncommon. Look at that. Three packs. Three wild cards. Yes, please. Sacrifice another non-token creature. Create a 1-1 one, one white black spirit. And afterlife three. So if you're sacrificing a creature with afterlife, you're bringing in two. Ooh, nice. Cinder vines. Cast non-creature. Whenever an opponent casts a non-creature spell, deals one damage to that player. Destroy target artifact or enchantment. Deals two damage to that permanent controller. Yes, please. Alright. Afterlife. Weird looking creature. Arrest your seal. Target creature gets plus two, plus two until the end of turn. If you cast a spell during your main phase, that creature gains flying until end of turn. Wow. Clear the mine. 
Target player shuffles her graveyard into the library. Draw a card. Is that target player? Shimmer possibility. Look at the top four cards of your library. Put one of them into your hand and the rest on the bottom of your library in any random order. There's that good one there. Drill bit. Target player reveals their hand. Choose a non land card from it. Player discards the card. Target creature minus four, minus zero until the end of turn. If you cast a spell during your main phase, tap that creature and it doesn't untap during its controller's next untap step. Draw three cards. If you cast a spell during your main phase, instead, scry three, then draw three cards. Wow. So that one, Goblin Gathering, creates a number of 1-1 one, one red Goblin creature tokens equal to 2 plus the number of cards named Goblin Gathering in your graveyard. Well, attacks each combat if able. Locket, Brain Eyes, Sky Tether, Chanting Creature has Defender, and loses Flying. Whenever a creature you control attacks alone, it gets plus X plus X until end of turn, where X is the number of creatures you control. It's like uh, Exalted from back in the day. Ooh, Theater of Horrors. Game of your upkeep, exile the top card of your library. During your turn, if an opponent loses life this turn, you may play cards exiled with Theater of Horrors. Deals one damage to target opponent or Planeswalker. There you go. A lot of people like that card, so. It's pretty good to have. Spectacle. Nothing special there. Target player puts the top card of their library into their graveyard. Tap four on tapped advisors you control. Target player puts the top 12. A deck can have any number of cards named persistent petitioners. Open the gates, search your library for a basic land card or a gate card, reveal it, put it into your hand, and shuffle your library. That's a good one. It's, it's, it's either land or gate. For only one green. Enter the battlefield. Scry two. Scorch mark deals two damage to target creature. That creature would die this turn. Exile it instead. That's pretty good. You attack. Boom. Blocks. Boom. It's gone. Essence capture. Counter target creature spell. Put a plus one plus one counter on top. On up to one target creature you control. Amazing. Uncommon. Each player discards all the cards in their hand. Dan creates that many 2 2 black zombie creature tokens. Damn. Get the point. Destroy target creature. Hexproof. Titanic Brawl. This creature costs one less to cast if it targets a creature you control with a plus one plus one counter. Target creature you control fights target creature you don't control. Scorch mark again. Whenever another creature you control dies, deals one damage to each opponent, and you gain one life. Afterlife, two. That's pretty good because you create two. Cool. Ooh. You may reveal this card from your opening hand. If you do, scry three. Flying at the beginning of your upkeep, you scry one. Hmm. Lava coil, that shit. Grill Spiral, Titanic Brawl, Scorch Mark, Blade Juggler, enters the battlefield, deals one damage to you, and you draw a card. Rubble Slinger, choose one or both, put target creature on top of its owner's library, return target creature to its owner's hand. Oh, wow. Just the battlefield, look at the top four cards of your library, you may reveal a creature or land card from among them and put it on top of your library. That's the problem is that you have to put it on top of your library. Menace, Death Touch. Instant and sorcery spells you control have Death Touch. That's crazy. Blade Juggler. Storm Strike. Target creature gets plus one, plus zero, and gains first strike until the end of turn. And scry one. All that for a common. Quench, counter target spell unless it's controller pays two, of course. More counter spells. Undercity Scavenger. 
When Undercity Scavenger enters the battlefield, you may sacrifice another creature. If you do, put two plus one plus one counters on Undercity Scavenger, then scry two. Hmm. For Genesis, return up to two target permanent cards from your graveyard to your hand. Dagger Caster, when Dagger Caster enters the battlefield, deals one damage to each opponent, one damage to each creature your opponent controls. Ah, another one. Look at that. Holy Jesus. Give me some gruel stuff, baby. Oh, there's my fourth. Catacomb. I like the, uh, the, uh, the little story. I am a sewer king, said the rat. I am quick and cunning, and I know every tunnel. No, I am king, said zombie. I am cold and deadly, and no rock can harm me. And croc came and ate them both. <laughs> That's funny. Riot and trample. Destroy target land. Senate griffin, flying. Into the battlefield, scry one. Can't be blocked by a creature with two or less. It's decent. Depose. Tap target creature, draw a card. Create two one one color stop this thopter artifact creature tokens with flying. Then you gain one life for each creature you control. Nice, both instances. Oh come on, dude. Are you serious? Damn, I have three already? Fuck. This sucks. Alright. What was that like three in a row? Wasn't that three in a row? Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, you gain one life. That's pretty good. Two for one. One color is one white for 2-2. Two, two. Root Snare. Prevent all combat damage so it would be dealt this turn. Nice. Even more for Turbo Fog. Jesus. Come on, man. Hide Goblin. Gets plus 2, plus 2 into end of turn. Clear the mine. Target player shuffles their graveyard into a library. Common. Defender. Per target card from a graveyard on the bottom of its owner's library. Target card. That's pretty good. In case they're targeting something. Adapt. This ability costs one less to activate for each instant and sorcery card in your graveyard. Emergency powers. Oh, look at that. First mythic. Is that the first mythic? I think so. Each player shuffles their hand and graveyard into a library, then draw seven cards. Ah, it's this one. If you cast a spell during your main phase, you may put a permanent card with converted mana cost seven or less from your hand onto the battlefield. Burning Tree Vandal. Attacks, you may discard a card. If you do, draw a card. Ah, she's good. 2-1 two, for 2 with Afterlife. Whenever Plague Right becomes blocked, each creature blocking it gets minus 1, minus 1. Defender. Uh-huh. Uncommon. Consecrate. Exile target card from a graveyard. Draw a card. That's pretty good. Consume target player sacrifices a creature with the greatest power among creatures they control. You gain life equal to its power. Ooh, another mythic. Spectacle. Flying Trample at the beginning of your upkeep. Spawn of Mayhem deals one damage to each player. If you have ten or less life, put a plus one plus one counter on Spawn of Mayhem. Nice. Very good. That was what, two mythics in a row? Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Smelt. Sacrifice. Gain control of target creature with power three or less. On tap that creature, gains haste. Activate this ability only any time you can cast this sorcery. You don't even have to sacrifice the creature. Gruel Beastmaster. Attacks. Another target creature you control gets plus X plus zero until end of turn where X is Gruel Master's power. Cool. Ooh. Put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature you control. Whenever one or more plus counters are put on a creature you control, put that many growth counters on Simic Ascendancy. If you have 20, you win the game. All right. Here's the uh, pacifism. Boom. That's my fifth. Grotesque. Exile target creature with power three or less. Applied. Choose one or both. Target creature gets plus one plus one. Return target creature to its owner's hand. Damn, look at that, dude. That is crazy. For two? Boom, put a plus one plus one. Return your only creature. Blah, you get three. Damage or more or whatever. Look at the top five cards of your library. 
may reveal a creature card from among them and put it into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your library. Next exile target creature. That creature's controller creates a 3-3 green frog lizard creature token. Forbidden spirit. Which is battlefield until your next turn. Creatures can't attack you or a planes working in control unless their control pays two for each of those. Oof. It's dirty. We got three for three, three. Another one. This is my third uh, mythic in a row. Holy shit. Of course, I don't play white blue. That is crazy. Get to the point. Root snare. Blade ban. Target creature gains death touch until end of turn. Draw a card. I love this card. I really like this card. Uh, boom, it's an instance. Block and draw a card. Sure. Gains vigilance. Reach. Other creatures you control with flying. Get plus zero, plus one. This is a good one. Oh, nice. Rare wild card, baby. Thank you. I was hoping to get a couple of those. Summary of Judgment. Deals three damage to target tap creature. If you cast a spell during your main phase, it deals five damage to that creature instead. Wow. That's pretty good. Tapped, right? It has to be tapped, yep. Yeah. Defender. Deals one damage to each player. This is the battlefield tap. This is your battlefield sacrifice when... Sacrifice it. Unless you pay one, add one mana of any color. Fairy Duelist. Flying Flash. Enters the battlefield. Target creature and opponent controls gets minus two, minus zero until the end of turn. Wow. Name's Last Breath. Uncommon. Unbreakable Formation. I like this one. I like this one for sideboard. For uh, my uh, red white weenie. He's against indestructible. If you cast a spell during your main phase, plus one, plus one. Because, you know, they got, uh, you know, destroy all creatures or whatever. All right. Let's see what we got. All right, all right. Deals three damage to any, to any creature. That's pretty good. I like that. That's a sorcery, but it makes sense that it's a sorcery. Lifelink gets plus one, plus one to another turn. Ah, nice, Thunder Shaman. Can't be blocked by more than one creature. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, destroy target artifact or enchantment that player controls. And there's that one again. Absorb. Counter target spell, you gain three life. Yay. More counter spells. Exactly what aggro decks do not need. Adapt to. Final payment, oh, as an additional cost. Pay five life or sacrifice a creature or enchantment. Destroy target creature, that's pretty good. Night of Sorrows. Night of Sorrows can block an additional creature each combat. Afterlife. Enters the battlefield, you gain two life. Screw the critics. Rally to battle. Creatures you control get plus one, plus three until end of turn. Untap them. Nice. Go to Constraint. Oh yeah, I think we have that one already. If you cast a spell during your main phase, tap that creature and it doesn't tap. Yep. Ooh. Target creature gets plus three minus three until end of turn. Boom, it's dead. Destroy target non-basic land. Deals two damage to target opponent or planeswalker. Destroy target non-basic land for six. Instant. Deals two damage. Wow. Reach, Spectacle, uh-huh. Ooh, look at this. Flying, Adapt. Common. Whenever Blood Mist Infiltrator attacks, you may sacrifice another creature. If you do, can't be blocked this turn. Ah, there it is. Rhythm of the Wild, baby. Yeah. Give me, give me three more. Give me three more. This is the baby I'm looking for. Rhythm of the Wild. Creature spells you control can't be countered. Non-creature... Non-token creatures you control have Riot. Ooh, look at this. Whenever an opponent activates an ability of an artifact, creature, or land that isn't a mana ability, it deals one damage to them. Pay five, plus three, plus three, and gains menace until end of turn. Hmm. 
There you go. I like that one. We got this one again. Uh, the portal exile target creature you control, then return that card to the battlefield under its owner's control against first strike until end of turn. Nice. That's pretty good. Adapt four. Clear the mine. Scorch mark. I think that's my fourth. Orshoff Enforcer. That's pretty good. Yep, we got that one as well. Ooh. If a creature dying causes a triggered ability or a permanent you control to trigger, the ability triggers an additional time. Creature tokens you control have vigilance and lifelink. Wow. Boom. Afterlife. Eat it! Rectus Rustabout. Becomes blocked, deals one damage to that player or planeswalker it's attacking. Nice. Top four cards. Yeah, we saw that one. We saw that one. Adapt. We saw that one. Gates of Blaze. Deals X damage to each creature where X is the number of gates you control. Sphinx. Flying Vigilance. Your opponent's. Spells your opponent's cast that target Sphinx. Costs two more to cast. That is crazy. There we go, another theater. Nice. I like it. I like it. Look at that, we're almost through the mythic. Blade Brand, Watchful Giant, enters to the battlefield, create a 1 1 white human creature token. Chillbringer, enters the battlefield, tap target creature, and opponent controls, doesn't untap. Footland Fiend, uncommon. Uh huh. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Exactly what I was looking for. I need three more of these babies. So it's your turn. You and Gruel Spellbreaker have Hexproof. I like that. Let's go over. Critics. Plague Right. Rampaging Red Rendhorn with Riot. Expose to daylight, destroy target artifact or enchantment, and scry. I have the last breath. Uh -huh, I got three of these. Nice. I guess. Rubble, sky, slime, slime bind, chant creature. Chanted creature gets minus four, minus zero. Very good. Cry of. The Carnarium. All creature get minus two, minus two until end of turn. Exile all cards in all graveyards that were put there from the battlefield this turn. Creature would die this turn. Exile it instead. Damn. That is dangerous. Ooh, nice. Collision. Deals six damage to target creature with flying. Or plus four, plus two. Engage trample until end of turn. I like that. Hollow Fountain. Nice. We would not prefer the Gruel one, but... Nice. Well, the control decks are getting that one for sure. I'm pretty sure they're sick and tired of bringing in their blue-white land tapped. Enters the battlefield. It deals two damage to each opponent, and you gain two life. Right, trample. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's like our fifth or sixth. Bionic upgrade. Distribute three plus one plus one counters among one, two, or three target creatures. Didn't double the number of plus one plus one counters on each of those creatures. Wow. Incubation, look at the top five cards of your library. You may reveal a creature card, put it into your hand, and the rest on the bottom. And exile target creature. 3-3 three, three, green frog lizard creature token. Hero of Princinct 1. Whenever you cast multicolored spell, creates a 1-1 one, one white human creature token. Boros right there. Boros or, or Orshoff. Gateway Plaza, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Common. Mortify. Beautiful. I love the art on that one. Destroy target creature or enchantment. Assets capture. Judith. Other creature you control, plus one, plus zero. Whenever a non-token creature you control dies, deals one damage to any target. Three for two, two. Feral Maka. Orshoff. Uh -huh. Territorial Boar, 
Whenever a creature with power 4 or greater enters the battlefield, you control. Plus 1, plus 1, gains vigilance until end of turn. Nice. Eyes everywhere. At the beginning of your upkeep, scry 1. Exchange control of eyes of everywhere. And target non-land permanent. Activate this ability only anytime you can cast a sorcery. Huh. Screaming shield. Group creature gets plus 0, plus 3, and has... Target player puts the top three cards of the library into their graveyard. Well, gutter bones. Which is battlefield tapped. Return from graveyard to hand. Activate this ability. And only if an opponent lost life this turn. Damn. Summary judgment. Officer enters the battlefield. Target creature you control gets plus one, plus one. Prying eyes, draw four cards. Uh huh. Uncommon. When galloping Liz Rog, <laughs> Liz Frog, enters the battlefield, you may remove any number of plus one plus one counters from among creatures you control. If you do, put twice that many counters on galloping Liz Rog. Damn. Twice as many. Growth Chamber Guardian. There we go. Oh, this one's a rare? Damn, I didn't know this one was a rare. Whenever one or more plus one plus one counters are put on growth, you may search your library for a card named Growth. Reveal it and put it into your hand to shuffle your library. Damn. Rakdos Trumpeteer. Rakdos Trumpeteer gets plus two plus zero until the end of turn. Saw it. Saw it. Saw it. Saw it. Sacrifice Watchdog. Target creature you control gains indestructible until end of turn. Only problem with that is that you have to pay one. You know, for like a red white deck, you know what I'm saying? Uh, other creatures you control. The flying get plus one plus zero. There we go. Look at that. Another mythic, baby. Damn. We've gotten three already. Two from boosters and one from opening boosters. Nice. I like it. I like it a lot. Arresters. Admonition? Is that how you say it? Return target creature to his owner's hand. If you cast a spell during your main phase, draw a card. Uh huh. Ooh. Ill gotten inheritance. At the beginning of your upkeep, deals one damage to each opponent and you gain one life. Pay six. Deals four damage to target creature. Or target opponent and you gain four life. Deface. Choose one. Destroy target artifact. Destroy target creature with defender. Destroy target creature with flying. Deals one damage to each creature with flying your opponent controls. Ah, Scrabbling Claws. Target creature exiles a card from their graveyard. Exile target card from a graveyard. Draw a card. Target card, yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Amplifier. Wow. Begin of your upkeep. Reveal card. Reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal a creature card. Until your next turn. Amplifier's base power. Becomes twice that card's power, and its base toughness becomes twice that card's toughness. Put the reveal card on the bottom of your library in a random order. Sphinx Insight, draw two cards. In your main phase, you gain two life. That's like my sixth or seventh. Uh huh. Tenth district. Attacks. On tap target. Creature you control. That's good. Because you attack with two creatures. She's vigilance, and then you untap your other attacking creature. It still attacks, but it kind of like gains vigilance in kind of a way, I guess. Adapt two. Each creature you control with plus one plus one counters. Each creature you control with a plus one plus one counter on it has flying. Ooh. When you cast this spell, you gain half. X life and draw half X cards. Round round down each time. Flying trample. Enters the battlefield with X plus one plus one counters on it. Oof. That's another mythic. Damn, I got a lot of mythics in this. It's like what, my fifth? Including the wild cards? Senate. Uh-huh. 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 Rumbling ruin. Enters the battlefield. Count the number of plus one plus one counters on creatures you control. Creatures your opponent control with power less than or equal to that numbers can't block this turn. Flash, enchant creature. 
creature gets plus one plus two and has vigilance. If he casts this during your main phase, enchant creature gains lifelink until end of turn. Oh, another Cinder Vines. Okay. Alright. Last one? Yep. Here we go. Let's see what we got. The face. Corolla Commando. Rubble. Rubble Belt's Runner. Can't be blocked by creature tokens. It's pretty good. Whenever a creature you control with power one or less attacks, deals one damage to the player or planes where that creature is attacking. Bankrupt in blood. Sacrifice two creatures, draw three cards. And the last rare is Glass of Guild Pack. Multicolored creatures you control get plus one plus one. Alright, awesome. Cool. It's pretty good. I liked it. I think uh, we got pretty decent cards. Uh, now we have four mythic rares, seven rares, 45 on commons, 20 commons. That's pretty good. Um, I do have 17, 20 gems. I would like to do sealed. So I'm pretty good in sealed. But draft is 1,500. And you need three wins to get your money back, so... I might do that tomorrow. Um, and I'm thinking about probably getting um, think about probably getting this. Oh, you get two of them, huh? The Haunt of High Tower. Cool. It's pretty cool. Too bad it's not like like foiled or something, you know. Uh, yeah, so I'm thinking about that, and uh, if I do uh, decide to get the 90 packs, I will make another video on it, but uh, for now, yeah, did pretty good, I'm pretty excited to make a Gruel deck, just gotta get a few more cards together, and yeah, so thanks for joining, and uh, yeah, I'll see you next video.